Hello YouTube, this is Tyans, and I'll be going over a balance PvP guide. I am a Torn, so if you're not a Torn, it really won't make a difference. You'll just be one less of a skill. Um, first off, gear-wise, I am level 85 because this is my um, this is my Twink Druid, so this is for 85s, and if you're a 90, the only difference would be the actual gear and another attack I mean another um spell well I have the full cataclysm gear um I just I haven't enchanted all of them yet but I have enchanted most of them and I still have the ruthless trinkets I don't know where to get the cataclysm ones but I have those and I have this so this staff it's actually better than the PvP one because um, the PvP one it wouldn't have as much stats as this one, and plus this one can be made, so I don't really have to grind for it. Well, since you are balanced, what you're going to be looking for some most people what they do is they stack spirit and intellect, but the only thing I think you should need is the intellect because it increases your spell power and your crit rating. And everyone knows that crit is good for whichever class you are. And um, PvP power, it's okay, but it's not essential. Like it's not one of the main things. Like you could have into like a PvP power if you want. Okay, so that is the gear, and now the spells. As a balanced druid, you have a lot of skills. You have one, two, three, four, about four pages worth of spells. And some of them you might not even use. Okay, so I'm gonna just go over what spells I use. And these are also my keybinds. For Q, I have Healing Touch. For Up, I have Run Macro. All it does is cast me, it's a cat form, and then it cast dash. E is a juvenate. R is intervate, inter, um, innervate on me. Left, wild mushroom, down, uh, my crap, macro. No, I'm gonna change that. Center the children. No, but um that's my crap macro. It's basically all my defensive cooldowns. And yeah. For R I have the mushroom detonate for F ancestral communion. For Z I have hurricane. For X I have aerosols of vortex and for C I have Starfall. For this, I have Prowl just for if like I'm holding a flag and I just want to go and stealth real quick. I could do that. Or I could also click this macro. Um, hold on. Or I could also click this macro. What it does is I have so much tied into it. If I'm in cat form, just give me everything I need. And this is the macro right here. I named it Cat just because. Um, it casts a this cast sequence, no stealth reset equals target mangle, rake, mangle, rake, ferocious bite. Next sign is cast sequence, stealth, pounce, pounce. Next is cast sequence, exclamation point, prowl, cast, and next one, cast, exclamation point, cat form. So what that'll do is, if I am just, if I'm not in cat form, it'll put me in cat form. If I'm not stealth, it'll put me in stealth. If I am in stealth and there's a target in front of me, it'll do pounce. And if I'm not in stealth, and if I'm in cat form and I'm not in stealth, then it'll just do the rotation. Now the reason why I have this is because sometimes you don't like for me. I sometimes I just want to go up and do some damage because basically for any stance you're in, you're gonna be doing a lot of damage. I mean, not stance, any form you're in, you're gonna be doing a lot of damage between the bear cat and Moonkin, but obviously you're specialized to be Moonkin, so that'll be the most. And it also cuts my um 
still signing staff. I used to have another one, but now I just have this one. So that's really not important. And for G, I have my burst macro. It's the two cooldowns that makes the moonfire and sunfire glow and reset to starfall and makes that no I'm gonna show you. This is what it does. See it does this, puts you in both stances and it also um casts incarnation to make you look all that. And for V I have cast sequence reset equal reset equals target mango luxurate luxurate swipe frenzy regeneration exxon slash cast spark skin exxon slash cast exclam exclamation point bear form so what that'll do is obviously since you can't go stealth in bear form it'll just do the rotation and also at the end give me a heal so if you're wondering why it's like this I do use a Nostromo so these rights in right from this area onward is the Nostromo and from this one onward is my Razor Knocker. So this is the scroll wheel up, the scroll wheel down, this is the mouse click on the Nostromo. And this is wheel up. Wheel up is corruption. Wheel wheel down is solar beam and button three is war stomp. Like I said, I'm a Tauren, so if you don't have that, then it's okay. Alt Alt B1 is my trinket to free. Alt B2 is my heal trinket. Shift B1 is Mark of the Wild, Shift B2, Tranquility, Alt Shift B1 is Rebirth, Alt Shift B2 is Revive. So basically, I don't use these a lot, but obviously, because most of the time I'm just holding down the left button, I mean the right button, so um, I have the things I really don't use on this side. Um, I just have my Drake right here just because I was um, doing another video so I really don't need those right there and if you saw my um, PvP guide for Hell Tank you saw that I have his skills right here instead of right here but since I'm a druid and I macroed in most of my stuff and also he doesn't have that many moves as Hell Tank um, I just put him down here because there's only nine moves that I really need to use Number one, Moonfire. Number two, Frog Swarm. Number three, Sunfire. Number four, Starfire. Star Fire. Number five, Star Surge. Number six, Wrath. Number seven, Entangling Roots. Number eight, Hibernate. Number nine, Cyclone. So I used to have these as Mouse Over, but then I'm not really doing that in my group, so I don't really need to cast. Um, I don't really need to get them off me because they're not really targeting. And if I do need to get them off me, I'll use this and I'll just use my run macro and get away. Well, that is my macros. Um, now, right here, I have all of my cooldowns. So, if, because most of them are macroed in over here. So, that's where they are. And now for the talents. These you do not have to pick, but. I'm just choosing them. Feline Swiftness just for kiting to help me a little bit. This has a cooldown for when I need some health and I'm taking heavy damage. This slows them down. Um, yeah, just slow them down. This obviously bursts, and this just to get them away from me when I'm running. Now, when I go into. Um, I do not know what I'm going to pick. If I was 90, but since I'm um, just a twink, I really won't do that. But if I were to say, um, a lot of people have been telling me that this is really good. Um, but I won't find out. Because I like really don't want to. Okay, well the basic rotation is, actually I'm going to go over to the train gummy, so, um, so you can see. All right, and we are back to show you the rotation. Now, what you want to do is, if you have just one target, first what I start off with. If it's not targeting me, 
then first I would just do a cast and then I would apply my dots and then I would um keep casting whichever when I'm in you never want to cast star search you never want to cast star search okay it's the same it's the same cast time as wrath but if you get that prop then it will just do instant so that is good so like say there's four people what you want to do is you want to apply your dots to all of them and sometimes you'll get the proc so then once you have all your dots applied then you use starfall and you should get another one if you don't it's okay and see I just got three procs in a row so that is a good rotation not a lot of people know how to not a lot of people know um, that they can do that so you should tell your friends if they have a balance through it all they need to do if they have more than three targets just apply the dots to each one like I'm doing right now and then while they're applying the dots they should get a proc and then um, I'm in the solar stance so the thing you can reset but that should give you it does a lot of damage as well because they're double props for each one so and um, a thing to know is it is better for damage wise um, I, I can't really say actually I don't know which one is better for either this one or this one and um, I mean just general damage because I know this one does 70 to 8k and it's 1.67 cast second cast this one does 19 to 20k and it's only 20 and it's only 2.6 so I think that would be the best but I don't really know okay so I'm gonna just do a demonstration of my damage now keep in mind I am level 80 Okay. Well, actually, I'm gonna do the off spec. Okay. So, I'm just go right here. I'm gonna just click it. I don't really need to bind it. It's only one attack. Okay. So it'll do pounce, mangle, rake, mangle, oh, mangle, rake, and then ferocious spike. As you can see, I have two dots up, and the rotation will still go. Okay, wait till that time's out. Okay, this is the damage about 19, right? About 198864. Now, just for that one rotation, run um, rotation of it, that is a lot of damage. I'm not even spectacular. Okay, so now for the um oh, I have bark skin in here just because I think when I'm taking a lot of damage I like to go in bear form and do damage. Okay, so now for bear form. Okay, I'm gonna reset it again. And mango, that's all right. Uh, let's do right again. Swipe. Frenzy Regeneration. Mangle. Let's do right. As you can see, there's a mangle prox. But I don't do those. Now, this time I did two rotations. Because obviously, bear form is for taking less damage. And it did about. Oh, the dots are still going. Okay, I did about one five eight two six five, and that's for two rotations. So, as you can see, if you do use these macros and you just want to do damage, this will be better. Well, that's my guide, and if you like, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.